What's, What's up, up, guys? guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to the TMG Podcast. Please make sure to like this video on YouTube and subscribe on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Hey, I thought you said I was going to do the intro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this and you haven't seen our live show, you've made a big mistake. So make sure you go get a ticket. Momenthouse.com slash tiny meat gang. It's on. It should be on right now. If you're yeah. watching this, like as soon as it came out. Yeah. To my early gang, mm -hmm. to my first gang, uh, it's on right now. It's yeah. live right now. So you, you can should. just go to Moment House website and watch us live instead yeah. of this. Yeah. You, you, can, you can get this later. But Momenthouse.com slash tiny meat gang. That show. You won't be able to get forever. Yeah, and we got a lot of we had a lot of fun stuff planned. So, you know, just don't miss it. That's literally all I can say is just don't miss it. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a fucking tiger, okay? Or there might be. I don't know. That's true. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I thought you said there's gonna be a tiger. <laughs> um, also, big thanks again, everyone supporting Trillionaire. Um, it's killing it. Yeah, it is killing it. It's killing it. Love getting a lot of great comments. It's not only funny, but it's it, it's extremely educational. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning a lot. Yeah. So fire up your Mondays with some finance. Yes. Uh, from the boys, Ben and Emil, or none other than our finance team. So yeah. Uh, That's the thing. I I wish I knew what options were when I was. I mean, I just found out what they were last year. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. During quarantine, oh. like everyone else. Uh, when Robinhood just let it so anyone could trade options, you just have to like press a button and the agree. most I won't the most bonehead thing possible. I know. Any other trading platform makes you do like a little quiz. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it was like at least some degree of like you're sure you want to do this. And even signing up for those platforms was way more than just downloading a fucking app. It's yeah. like you had to go to like, you know, T D America or whatever the fuck or like yeah. Fidelity and open up a trading account. Yeah. And then apply for options trading after that. Uh -huh. And Robin Hood was just like, you're not going to like do any, you're not going to like be irresponsible, are you? <laughs> and you're like, no. I'm like, okay. Get your ass in there. You're not going to over leverage your entire life savings, are you? You won't lose like everything you're worth plus some more on that. Would you? No, I won't do that. We trust you. Get your ass inside. Get in there. Just trade some options. Fuck in there, you little fucker. And you know what else? What? We use some we use some Dogecoin as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Throw a little bit of that on top. You're gonna you're gonna be just fine in there. How much money do you have? I have like I've saved five thousand dollars. You have twenty thousand dollars actually. What? Why don't you trade with that? Oh, because Dogecoin. So oh. Yeah, because then if you level up on Dogecoin, you go back to the options and eh, make it all back. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah, I'll give you a little leverage here. What do you say? You want a little line of credit? We'll give you that too. No, they don't do that. And and then some, and then it leads to some kid committing suicide because he lost all of his money. Yeah. True story. Yeah. Very, very sad story. Anyways, what the fuck were we even talking about? How did we get on this? <laughs> Remember that kid who committed suicide after over leveraging on options trading? <sighs> yeah, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. <laughs> How did we even get on that? Trillion our mindset. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it's not as sad as this. <laughs> it's not as sad as that just was. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> make sure you watch that show. Uh -huh. um, They're good. We love it. Educational. That's what it was. Yes, it is. It is actually. 
It what, teaches you a lot of stuff. Man, we could start with current events, but I, I do have to just... Ooh, I got a bone to pick. Okay. Pick the bone, and then I got... I think we should talk about uh, Megan Fox and MGK after this. Oh, for sure, yeah, okay. yeah. But let's let's pick this bone. Oh, well, first of all, you know, I had my second race this weekend. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm doing a video on it, so I'll save everybody the, you know... The only thing that I want to bring up that, that is relevant is, you know, I had my first crash, which was pretty intense. I saw it. Yeah. I, Cody saw the clip. Um, and yeah, you could like make it out in like the 16 bit pixels, like hard ass whiplash. <laughs> that moment was so insane, dude. It happened like that. And do you want to play the video or are you going to save it? No, I'm going to save it. I mean, we, could, we, could, we could run it next week, but I, I think it's a lot better in context. Okay. Um, like the lead up to it and everything, man. But so, you know, I whiplash and I'm like, I'm feeling kind of beat up from the day, but it's cool because, you know, Alina and I were about to go to Joshua Tree. You know, it's been a year since we got engaged. We're just going to have a little time, right? So I rent this place through this service called Homestead. Okay. Uh, at Homestead on Instagram. And I would like to formally tell anyone that potentially comes across this website, uh, save your money, they don't care about it. I've never done yeah, this. Let's go. I've never let's done this. Let's go, public company beef. I've I never this. done this in my entire life. I've never once used, yeah, yeah. Fucking go. Yeah, uh. yeah. <laughs> I hit the wrong sound, but. <laughs> I have never done that. I meant to do air horns or yeah. something, but no that 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 gag is how it felt. What what they did to me? What did they do to you? Well, yeah. So gag. first, yeah, they made they gagged me. God. They gagged me. Oh, well, they gagged you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, they didn't do that. They're gonna say like, no. The service was really good. No, service felt was like not this. good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> service was not good. So, you know, if you were thinking about. You know, spending some extra coin on a premium rental, uh, don't do it through them. Take that money and go to Vegas and I don't know, do something else because these people don't give a shit about you. So that's just from me to you. So I rent this place. You know, it's uh, it's pretty pricey, but I'm thinking like I'm doing something nice because you know it's this moment we're gonna have fun with and celebrate whatever. So it describes the place as being like kind of remote. And I'm like, that's cool. Most places in Joshua Tree are remote, right? Yeah. And the pictures, you know, kind of show off this really bright sort of sunny vibe, you know, but it, in general, it looks pretty cozy in there. And uh, the architecture and stuff is is dark, but it seems okay because like the vibe of the home feels pretty cozy. So yeah. like the, the, the dark materials are whatever. So we're driving and then, you know, they send you an email like, hey, the internet's kind of dodgy as you're as you're pulling up so you know you just refer to these instructions and so that already is a little bit like okay yeah that's fine yeah yeah so we start going down this road <clears throat> as in like print out the instructions they they say print or screenshot whatever yeah okay right so we get to where this place is and it's fucking remote like it's not like remote how i've ever experienced before it's fucking out there so it's not in Joshua Tree. It's like in oh no, it's in Joshua Tree. But like where it is in Joshua Tree is like kind of obscure. Okay, in isn't my there opinion. a city next? There's like more cities. There are there's another one. I forget what it's called. It wasn't that Six deep. Something? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no. It sex, sex city, sex city. Yeah, that's above Joshua Tree. <laughs> no, isn't there one that's like a number? It has a number in it. Uh, I don't know, I'm stupid. But anyways, sorry. Keep yeah, going. something. I thought that was the freeway, like 29 Palms. Or that's something. what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. The freeway. You can live on the freeway out in Joshua Tree. <laughs> the 101, that's what Yeah, it, it makes no difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so you're out there. We're going down the road to the home, and it's like a two-mile dirt track. It's not even like a road. It's like a dirt track like that carves through the desert. It's like steep. If you had a Honda Civic, goodbye. Yeah. I don't think this thing would make it through in the heat. It's like a one-way road. So if you're car broke down on this road or if someone was parked on it facing you like you might as well just walk out pull your pants down and lay on the hood of your car like 
You, because there's nothing. There's nothing to your left or right. Okay, it's just desert. It's just rocks. Right. Well, you have the printed directions though. Yo, yeah, so that'll help good. you for sure. Yeah, yeah you can hold that to who, the serial <laughs> yeah. killer with your pants down and be yeah. like, "This is where I was trying to go," and he'll just take that from you and be like, yeah, "Thank yeah. you." You could light it on fire and do like smoke mm -hmm. rings. I don't know. Yeah. No, I think the serial killer would light it on fire in front of you, <laughs> and then use it to light his cigarette and then throw it out just to the side and then smoke his cigarette as he cuts you to pieces. So as we're driving up to the home, there's like, I don't know what this bird is, but it's like it's, it's like an owl or something going from like cactus to cactus in front of us, just going, ah! <laughs> in pitch black. It's the most unsettling thing ever. Pitch black? You're getting there at night? I'm getting there at nighttime, okay. yeah. Okay. So, which but kind of classic desert shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's classic desert shit for sure, but, you know, so then we get to the home. There's like a By the way, put that on the soundboard. The, yeah. The, the, <laughs> the owl. Bird chirp. Yeah. Sure, yeah. <laughs> so we get to the home, and then there's a carport with a random car in it, and the gate to the home is open. So we're like, well, that's fucking weird. Right. So then we go up, and then we park the car, and then we walk up to the home, and then there's another gate to get into the home, and that's open. Okay. Which, you know, is probably to let us in, but it's just like, okay, that's two open gates. What the fuck? Right. So then we get in there and then we open the place and all lights are off. And this is probably the creepiest fucking house I've been inside of in my entire life. <laughs> the vibe does not match the pictures at the fuck all. It's like super cold. Um, there's a bunch of like statues of like Greek men and there's like a painting of a Greek man. It all just feels like, you know, shit's looking at you. Okay. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Stamps.com. If you've got a small business, you know there's nothing more valuable than your time, so stop wasting it on trips to the post office. Stamps.com makes it easy to mail and ship right from your computer. Save time and money with Stamps.com. Send letters and packages for less with discounted rates from USPS, UPS, and more. Ah. It's the best. Since 1998, Stamps.com has been an indispensable tool for nearly 1 million businesses. Stamps.com brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS shipping right to your computer. Whether you're an office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full blown warehouse shipping out orders stamps.com will make your life easier all you need is a computer and a standard printer no special supplies or equipment within minutes you're up and running printing official postage for any letter any package anywhere, anywhere you want to send, send. It. and you'll get exclusive discounts on postage and shipping from usps and ups once your mail is ready just schedule a pickup or drop it off no traffic no lines i cut the confusion out of shipping with Stamps.com's new Rate Advisor tool, you can compare shipping rates and timelines to easily find the best option. Save time and money with Stamps.com. There's no risk. And with our promo code TMG, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in TMG. That's Stamps.com promo code TMG. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. And the part they leave out is like the home is designed so like to the bedrooms, it's this mega like narrow hallway. Like two people cannot stand in it. It's super slim. And there's like a golden dipped heart in the hallway. And it's not like a heart that's like cartoonish or artistic. It looks just like, like they cut it out of someone and put it in gold and then just put it in the hallway. Okay. So we're like walking, creeping down this hallway, trying to turn the lights on in all the rooms. And I'm fully expecting like a man to just be in there like, oh, did you see my Jeep? Like... <laughs> I left the gates open for you. Yeah, I thought you might need that before you come <laughs> in the home. So we go to like where the like the where we're supposed to sleep, and our, this is like it's like a black comforter, probably the worst color you could have for a bed, and it's just cum stains just Ew. all over it. No way. I'm yeah, like no exaggeration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they were doing on that bed. That's <laughs> actually what Homestead does to you before they nut on the bed and then take your money. It was, you think it's the CEO of Homestead that yeah. personally jizzed on that yeah. for you? Yeah. Because they really care about customer yeah. service. Yeah, this should make, this should make Noel feel right at home. <laughs> and he's in the next room. Yeah. That was his Jeep. Yeah. Uh, Noel's going to be freaked out. This should really add to it. Oh, uh, yeah. Welcome to my place, by the way. I can't believe you rented this shit. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> so then I'm already bugged out and then we step into the bathroom because we're just like looking through the house to see 
if we like it anymore. And there's a picture above the toilet that says something like, smile, you're on camera. No. And it's an image uh, of a camera. Yeah. It's like, like. What a bad joke. Yeah. Like, was it a joke? Yeah. I think it's supposed to be a joke image, but like not good. And so. Don't joke about that shit in the bathroom. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Yeah. That's such a bad joke. So then we get to the end of the hallway and at this point, I'm so freaked out because I felt like I was going deeper in a maze. And when we went to the bedroom, I like turn around and look back down the hallway. And I was just fully expecting like Jason Voorhees to fucking step out and be like, congratulations, Noel, you have made it to the center of the maze. Let's celebrate. <laughs> so we go out into the kitchen. Were you on mushrooms or something? No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> the the place was so fucking off putting, man. It, it was it was such a s- stark difference, and it's not even the fact that like it wasn't sunny. It just did not feel. I go went back and looked at the images. I'm like, oh, these images are photoshopped to like all oh, fuck. Okay. So then I text the people. I'm like, yo, man, like, um, uh, who can I speak to about canceling? And they're like, oh, why do you want to cancel? I'm like, I, to be honest, this is like I'm creeped out. I don't. I just don't feel comfortable in this place. And oh, and the cum stains on the bed. Yeah, they're yeah. like. Well, those are our CEOs, though. You didn't. He didn't like those. You didn't like those. He made those for you. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, which would be very Homestead fashion yeah. <laughs> to be like. You need. You should appreciate people's hard work. Right. So, I'm talking to him, and I'm like, "Look, I know this is kind of off, but like, I just, I'm not comfortable like staying here." And I was kind of expecting him to be like, well, you, you know, you're kind of checking in late. We unfortunately have to charge you for the first night. But, for you know, I thought they'd meet me like halfway or right, something. Right, right, By the way, I do think that everyone um, resonates with this situation where you book an Airbnb. Yeah. No matter what, like, level it is, you look forward to that trip. The pictures look sick. You're like, this is awesome. And you walk into the place and it's nothing like oh, yeah. booked. I think yeah. everyone's been through that. Yeah. That shit sucks. Because then you're like, Ugh. Yeah. Because it's the fucking start of your vacation, too. Yeah. And you're like, great. Now, well, and it's just like you're starting on a down note, you know? Well, you know, and we're coming into it like I just got my neck thrashed at 70 miles an hour. So oh, I'm right. like, yeah. you know, you know, I'm already feeling like the front of my neck, like tense. And I'm look, looking at the pictures on the way there. I'm like, man, there's like a fucking heated pool. This is going to be so dope. I'm going to slide right into that thing. <laughs> Woo! And soak. Yeah, and soak, dude. I'm going to soak in there and yeah. out of there, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> But then that's, you know, before the man pops out of, the the CEO of Homestead pops out of the closet with his dick out and a machete. Yeah. And he's like, I heard you got in an accident. I'm like, please don't. He's like, I heard the front of your neck is tense. Let's loosen that up. How about this? And then he cuts off his own dick. Yeah. I'm like, what? And then it regrows. <laughs> and he's like, surprise Noel. And he pulls his skin off and it's Mark Zuckerberg. And he's like, I'm a lizard. <laughs> Facebook go live. Yeah. <laughs> and then no, his pupils go vertical and then they click red and then he's like, Facebook go live. <laughs> no, you know what he does? He he cuts off his dick, it falls on the ground, I'm like <gasps> and then like from the center of him is like <gasps> and it regrows. I'm like, ah and then his dick starts like on that's on the ground, starts like writhing, yeah. and then like a small man starts growing from it yeah. into a bigger man and then it's another mark. Yeah, yeah. So then they start collectively hacking all their penises off and it creates like <laughs> 10 marks in the hallway. And they all start marching forward this towards me. Meat Canyon sketch, that's what this Basically, is. Basically, <laughs> yeah. So oh. I'm like, yo, I don't feel safe. This is like, this, this place is fucking weird. And they just told me, well, you're welcome to leave, but um, we know it's safe. So thanks. That's what they ended it with. Thanks, exclamation mark. Oh, dang. I was like, oh, wow, like that. And so- I love a good sassy customer service person. And then I was like, hey, man, is there anyone I could talk to? Like, I spend a shit ton of money. It just feels like a lot of money for you to kind of just to tell me to go fuck myself. And they were like, yeah, we'll talk to the owner, which is basically like, we'll think about it. And that's the last they've hit me. Really? With. Yeah. So he hasn't called you personally and been like, so- you didn't like my cum stains, huh? Yeah. I thought we'd be able to hash it out, you know, over the phone or something. He's like, I'll tell you what I'll do. You can keep the blanket and one night's fee. Huh? <laughs> keep the blanket. I'll let you keep the blanket and one night's fee. I'm going to keep two nights, but you get to keep the blanket. So they didn't refund you at all? No. Really? They just said, go fuck yourself? Yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was, it was like, yeah, tough shit. You're creeped out. 
And you were you were like you told them this is nothing like the pictures. Yeah, and they're like, well, you saw the pictures. I'm like, yeah, but it, it's it's nothing like them. They're like, well, yeah, too bad. Yeah, they were dope pictures. And I'll, I'll tell we you, we did how, a great job on those. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, you're not talking shit about our CEO's editing, are you? Because <laughs> uh, our CEO not only did he come on that bed, but he edited those photos. He as downloaded well. Lightroom just for those pictures. And you're gonna talk shit about him? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Sounds like your problem. So, you know, um, but I was so freaked out by the place. Like I had this conversation as I was driving away from the property. I like booked it straight to the car. I'm like, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I just said, yeah. And then we left. So, you know, homestead, save your money, man. Just, uh, I don't know where you take it, but just don't use their shit. Yeah. You hear that homestead? You've been publicly called out <laughs> for your sassy customer service. It's just kind of wild to when someone's like, hey, I rented your home and it freaks me out. Yeah. To be like, well, it doesn't freak me out. So <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks for the money. It doesn't freak us out. You're welcome to leave. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Fuck me, right? Yeah. So yeah, pretty pretty upsetting. Um, and then uh, Alina and I hightailed it to... Santa Barbara the next day. How close is that to Santa Barbara? Joshua Tree? Yeah. It's not. Oh, okay. So that so I drove like two and a half hours to the place <laughs> and drove two and a half back home. We slept, we woke up the next day and I was like, I just want to go to Santa Barbara. I don't know, I just you know, to try because I'm trying to like salvage what was supposed to be like a good weekend. And so we ended up having a good time, but you know. You stayed in a hotel, right? Yeah. That's that's the move, dude. Fuck a home rental. Yeah. They all kind of suck now. Yeah, they're they're yeah, they're clearly not good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I yeah. Hotels I don't think... are just they're never bad. Mm. It's you can just count on mm. exactly what it's gonna be. Mm hmm Cause even if you get a bad hotel, you know it's bad. Yeah. You like it. Yeah, the the experience is But consistent. even fucking state of I don't know, Best Western or something like that. Yeah, they're they're not they're not bad. You get ice cold AC. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's ice? loud. <laughs> yeah, you get I don't have ice. a fucking ice machine in my place. I don't have ice in my place. Guar That's a nice change. Guaranteed you can get a fucking DC. Guaranteed you can start the day with a fucking DC. Oh, Anytime man. you start the day with a fucking DC, oh. you know it's downhill from there. Feel bad I don't know that dude's name. But Cug. Cug. Cousin Cug, I think. Isn't it? Let me check because he's le legitimately my favorite TikToker now. <laughs> I can't get enough of that dude. You get a fucking DC. I can't get enough of that, dude. <laughs> That's a weird thing, depending on how you say that. Yeah. Meals by Cug. Meals underscore by underscore Cug. Cougine. Shout out to you, man. Hilarious. Um, <laughs> that's what the Homestead CEO said as he was reading my texts. <laughs> Just like, you know, that was his little nightmare that he created. <laughs> I'm going to come all over this bed, make his life hard. Then as, as I was texting him, like, your place is freaking me out. He's like, oh, I can't get enough of this dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, is it freaking you out? doesn't freak me out. Homestead Modern? Is that what it is? Vacation home rental. You know what I'm going to do right now? Blocked. <laughs> Solidarity, man. They just, um, they're blocked on Instagram now. <laughs> oh, and they follow me, too. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I go to the messages. It's like, hey, we'd like to offer you a free stay. I'm yeah. like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm but blocked. it's only good for this past weekend. <laughs> Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Movement. In a tiny apartment in Southern California, two college dropouts teamed up to create a watch company that broke all the rules. With fair prices, unexpected colors, and clean original designs, Movement, pronounced Movement, grew into one of the fastest growing watch brands, shipping to over 160 countries across the globe. Now Movement has expanded into blue light glasses that protect your eyes from your screens, <coughs> minimalist jewelry, and more style essentials that don't break the bank. All designed out of their California headquarters. I've been wearing their new minimal sport dive watch. It's so sleek and professional looking. You never know it could dive down 100 meters deep into water. Movement watches have the look and quality of $400 to $500 watches you're paying for at a department store, but costs a fraction of the price because they were built online and own their process from start to finish. You get a beautiful watch shipped right to your door for free. And if you don't love it, you can ship it back for free. 
I've got to spend all day in front of my computer and my ever scroll blue light filtering glasses are a game changer. It really helps with eye strain and poor sleeping patterns and I love the modern style of the frames. If you want to elevate your look with style that doesn't break the bank, then join MVMT, that's movement, and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash tmg. Again, that's mvmt.com slash tmg. Um, how do you feel about, how do you feel about cum? <laughs> um, I mean, oh, yeah. let's, I, I, I really wanted to review the new Megan Fox and MGK content from the British GQ mm-hmm. cover that they did, because I think that, you know, in the time between the last Moment House show and the last That's Cringe. Mm-hmm. Like, besi- I mean, besides the video we watched for the last Moment House show. Sure. I think it's been a long time since we've actually found content that's... Actually cringe. Actually cringe. Okay. At this level. Okay. And I think this truly is perfect. Yeah. Did I'm you say, read... I'm saying yeah, but I don't know anything about it. You haven't seen this? No. I only know the quote about I am weed. <laughs> yeah. Can we, can we read that? <laughs> I am weed. Do you have that? It might be in the document. There was a whole bunch of other. It's a tweet. I think someone tweeted it. GQ did. Yeah, they put the quote over the the seat. Saw someone put the quote over the scene from the notebook. Okay, here we go. Let's put dramatic lighting on. This is Megan Fox. I just remember this tall, blonde, ghostly creature. And I looked up and I was like, you smell like weed. He looked down at me and he was like, I am weed. Then I swear to God, he disappeared like a ninja in a smoke bomb. That's a quote from Megan Fox right there. What that I am weed reminds me of something. What? Like some movie quote is like, I am something. I am weed. Oh, is it? Is it? Who do you think you are? I am. No, it's it's not that, but that that works as well. <laughs> we do you think you are? I am. It's like, ah, oh, damn it, bro. Someone is gonna know what I'm talking about. It's like a Vin Diesel type actor being like, I am weed. <laughs> Fuck. Know. Yeah, that's um to say uh, I mean to say I am weed and anything else happened but the girl just being like okay and leaving is insane to me. Yeah. <laughs> this is just peak high school. What a strange way to greet someone. You smell like weed. <laughs> Bitch, I am weed. <laughs> I am weed. What does that mean, dude? And why weed? Yeah. You could have picked anything else. I don't know, man. This this also could have been, been a I, scene in Midsummer. <laughs> what do you mean? Just one of the people at the camp all fucked up. <laughs> this girl all fucked up on shrooms and dude comes close. She's like, you smell like weed. And he's like, I am weed. <laughs> we all are weed. <laughs> I just think like, you know, anything would have been cooler. Nice shirt. I am shirts. <laughs> That's cooler than this. I am weed? Yeah. yeah. I am weed? I don't know, man. Kind of hard. <laughs> you think it's hard? Yeah. I'm <laughs> arguing in favor of I am weed. Also, like, the his fucking hair in this. Like, yeah. the fa- I don't think that straight dudes ever wore extensions. Um, The members of Kiss, maybe? I think that was their real hair. Okay. All right. Are those extensions? I can't. Yes, dude. He has short hair. Oh, okay. Doesn't he? I, don't I mean, at the VMAs, did he not have short hair? We can go back to regular lighting, Candace. We don't have to be still adding a lot of drama. <laughs> <laughs> Felt dramatic. <laughs> just this just isn't just... cool. <laughs> I am shirts. <laughs> I think I am weed is also kind of a classic high thing to say. I am weed. <laughs> you smell like weed. I, I am weed. Then he dis- you, you are a girl. 
The social like anxiety is what made him disappear, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I <Yeah>. am weed. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, and then he realizes it's fucking Megan Fox. And he's like, holy fuck. I loved you in Transformers, by the way. <laughs> and he's just, all right, I'm, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> I am weed. Bye. <laughs> They're perfect for each other. They're yeah. perfect. Wait, there's another one. There's another. I think she wrote it as her Instagram caption. Yeah, this is it. Can you zoom in on this? They just, they like, you know, they remind me of like a couple in high school that got tattoos first. <laughs> You know, like oh yeah, like their parents oh, yeah. got them tattoos first. Yep, and they live in Huntington Beach. Hundred percent. And then they every every Monday they come back and they're like, "Ugh, me and I don't even know what, what Machine Gun Kelly's real name is." <laughs> um, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Kelly went dirt bike riding this weekend with his family. It was so much fun. Have you ever ridden a two-stroke? What? He was so high. It was so crazy. You know, like, it's just that. Yeah. 100%. 100%. <laughs> his, real name, his real name is Colson. Colson. Oh, perfect. Colson, right. Okay. Yeah. He looks like a Colson. <laughs> More like coleslaw. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right, machine gun coleslaw. <laughs> you mean more like coleslaw, Kelly? <laughs> um, okay, machine this is gun her. Kelly man, man got coleslaw. This is <laughs> MGK. <laughs> nice, dude. Are you high, by the way? I am weed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is uh, this is her Instagram caption, right? Just that was her quote before. Now this is directly from her fingers. Yeah. The tale of two outcasts. <laughs> Stop Which, it. first of all, just right off the bat. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't be more mainstream. And you couldn't be less outcasted. That's what I'm saying. How are either of them outcasted? <laughs> They're not at all. I mean, both of them, like, no, 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 hate, no hate to them, right? No. They're just, they're not outcasts at all. She's like the hottest girl in the world. He's like doing the most popular form of music from the last 20 years. Yeah. How are they outcasts? Yeah. I don't know. The tale of two outcasts and star-crossed star lovers caught in the throes of a torrid solar flare of a romance featuring feverish obsession, uh, guns. Romance is an album? Addictions. <laughs> this, is it? This is a track list. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm saying that's how she's described. Their shit is an album, dude. It's lots of blood is yeah. one of the songs. Yeah, yeah. Featuring feverish obsession, guns, <laughs> addiction, shamans, lots of blood, general mayhem, therapy, <laughs> tantric night, night terrors, <laughs> binding rituals, chakra sound baths, psychedelic hallucinations, organic smoothies, and the kind <laughs> of sex that would make Lucifer clutch his rosary. Organic smoothies. Holy shit. Yeah, pretty oh healthy in the God. middle of all that. Seriously. Tentric night terrors. General mayhem. Lots of blood. Organic smoothies. <laughs> Razzmatazz. <laughs> Jumbo juice. <laughs> Kale salad. <laughs> Kale salad, nice. <laughs> the kind of sex that would make Lucifer... Clutch his rosary. What are they doing down there? They're like killing babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Are you sacrificing you pull out a, literal humans? Yes. Yeah, pull out a, you... like a nine, like a fresh baby and just stab it clean in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Even the devil's like, hey, hey. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. This is fucked, dude. I'm I'm about to clutch my rosary yeah. real quick. <laughs> the this is messed up. The devil goes to church. They're like. <laughs> Satan, he's like, listen, I just watched those two outcasts go at it. Let me tell you, they are two star-crossed lovers caught in a torrid solar flare. Matter of fact, bring my boy down here and Jesus comes down. And he's like, Satan, what the fuck are you doing? This is, what are you doing in my house? He's like, I'll, 
Just talk to me, man. Have you ever had a tantric night terror before? Oh, you saw MGK? <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, so much blood. Okay, come on. Let's, so much blood. Come on, hold the rosary. Let's do this together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. Hello. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Ha. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Sheesh. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Fall can be kind of hectic, honestly. Yeah, crazy. Shit's been hectic recently. Mm -hmm. But HelloFresh's recipes save you time you'd otherwise spend on meal prepping, mm -hmm. grocery shopping, and chopping. So you can focus on getting back into a new routine and spending quality time with the family. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options providing plenty of variety. Ingredients travel from the farm to your door within a week so you can get convenience without skimping on quality, bro. Fall is for family time. Recipes like meatloaf, a la mom, and one pot broccoli mac and cheese make weeknight meals go off without a hitch. I love meatloaf a la your mom. I love it Dude, in your mom, Dude, do not talk actually. about my mom like that. I like my meal love in your mom. Knock it off. Listen, with options like quick and easy meals, low prep, one pan, and 10 to 15 minute meals, that's time cut down spending on cooking and cleanup that you, you can give back to your family or yourself. Or your mom. Or your mom. Sheesh. Dude, my favorite meal is the bibimbap. Oh, tell us more, bro. I love the bibimbap. Do you? Yeah, I do. Crispy rice on the bottom. It's good. I'm sorry I doubted you. I can definitely tell you love it. Oh, I love it. I do. Well, right now, guys, if you want to see all about these meals that Cody loves, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat14 and use code TinyMeat14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat14 and use code TinyMeat14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. Adrenochrome. Yeah. <laughs> Eating baby foreskin to be stem younger. <laughs> stem cells. Adrenochrome. <laughs> Harvesting <laughs> blood from young teenagers. Killing poor people. <laughs> it's just like, what's up? <laughs> what do they mean general mayhem? Like, do you just go to their house and they're just like, have chainsaws on ropes and they're just swinging them around the <laughs> Just, just being. What if one of them was just anal prolapse? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're into all kinds of rosebuds. <laughs> Lots of blood, bro. They fucking talk like they're like World of Warcraft characters. This is insane. Also, addiction? <laughs> Do you guys need to talk to somebody? Yeah, like, addiction is definitely not, like, sexy. <laughs> That's a dark-ass place, man. I mean, I'm assuming it means, like, addicted to each other, but oh, that okay. also would be kind of funny. Right, yeah. That's Guns, funny. shamans, general mayhem, <laughs> crippling meth addiction, therapy. <laughs> a seriously unhealthy <laughs> reliance on opioids. <laughs> Skiing accidents. <laughs> what? <laughs> Overcooked salmon. Yeah, okay. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Consistently burning the oven. <laughs> Blown up yogurt in the microwave. <laughs> Like, what? What is this life? What are they doing? <laughs> Hot pocket sauce all over the microwave. <laughs> Super mundane shit. <laughs> Can't find batteries for the TV remote. <laughs> Hard to turn the volume down on the TV. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Squeezing the toothpaste <laughs> with a pair of pliers. <laughs> you could just get new toothpaste. So you don't have to do it like that. <laughs> I'm still dying at addiction. Like <laughs> if you picture these like visuals like guns, addiction, just someone with a needle in their arms. Whoa. Also shamans. Shamans? Like, like what? Obviously they're you know, they're talking about like some fucking mushroom experience, but also when I hear shaman, I just picture like some fucking like some trust fund kid off Instagram who doesn't shower. Yeah. Like it doesn't sound cool. Yeah, know? it's just a college kid in one of those like <laughs> like ponchos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah girl. White, these... <laughs> white guy with dreads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grow these. <laughs> um Yeah, binding rituals. Binding rituals. Lots of blood, general mayhem, binding rituals. I have children of my own. <laughs> Okay. She does. She does. Oh, she has children from another marriage. Yes, dude. Oh. She's got young children. Dang, dang. <laughs> that I guess that's who gets the organic smoothies. Seriously. Yeah. What? <clears throat> Did Baby they... shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dead gophers. Because we have a big front lawn, you know. <laughs> They're always just popping up, you know. <laughs> a John Deere 700. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like, they're really adult to be acting like this, man. Yeah, 100%. I'm not, I'm all about creating art, but this whole, like, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey bullshit. Come on now. Come on now. Is she pointing the gun at his dick? Yeah. Why? That's so edgy. I guess that's that kind of sex that would make Lucifer clutch his rosary. Yeah. Shoot this shit off. <laughs> Shoot my dick off. <laughs> Shoot it off. Do it. <laughs> Are you sure? You ever heard of uh, like gun fucking? Is that a real thing? Yeah. They, they put the gun in the vagina. and Like it's loaded too? I think so. <sighs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's a rush. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's that's actually that kind of sex. Yeah, I don't know, man. I th I'm pretty sure Lucifer has probably had the craziest sex out of anyone. I, I'm saying, man, <laughs> Lucifer is present during a lot of shit. Yeah, <laughs> orgies. There's not much that could make him clutch his rosary. <laughs> <laughs> Lucifer actually exposes himself just to like come out against this article. Yeah, all right. First of all, yeah, I am king of like eternal bottom, and secondly, calm down, <clears throat> calm down. I've been alive for a very long time. I've seen a lot of different shit. <laughs> yeah. I, got, I watched my arch nemesis get stumped. <laughs> All right. I would, and I would rate that like a four. Yeah. This right here, I'm saying two max. Yeah. When she sucks this his is dick is a blip. This is a blip. When, when she sucks his dick with teeth, that's crazy. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> that takes it up a point for me. Just teeth. <sighs> what else do we have from this article? <coughs> I think... You, it was this GQ UK or I don't know. Yeah, uh, British GQ. British GQ. Mm -hmm. They just did this to make a mockery of Americans. Yep. <clears throat> That's the, this ongoing war in media between us and British people. All the Americans made all those <clears throat> TikToks dogging out British people. And someone in British GQ was like, oh, you want to talk shit about us? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys have MGK <laughs> and... and uh, Megan Fox. I almost called her Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> Machine Gun Fox. Machine Gun Fox, yeah. What other, any other good quotes out of here? I know <clears throat> we're kind of dragging this one. No. Oh. All right. <sighs> yeah, that's it for that, I think. I just wanted to know. Good more. for them, though, you know? They found love in a hopeless place. Um, they so found good for them. In a hopeless place? Yeah. In a hopeless place. Nice. <clears throat> um, fucking hell! Do you see all the Rubet shit? Rubet yeah. Wizza stuff? No, I mean I saw parts of what Coffeezilla was talking about, and I I I, I saw part of some ordinary gamers, but I don't know if there's been any new developments out of this. But I did see that 
Coffee updated this video, the comment saying that uh, a lot of media was scrubbed. Um, yeah, they deleted. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's ex let's describe it for those who haven't watched this video yet. It's basically they looked into um, Rubet, which is the gambling site that we had talked about, crypto gambling. We yeah. talked about it like, I don't know, a <laughs> month or so ago. And uh, about how much money influencers are making from these sites because, you know, they're getting paid out like millions of dollars, multiple millions of dollars a month these yeah. influencers are making yeah. each to promote the gambling site to their fans because they basically get a rake off of everyone's bet. Mm -hmm. All the fans who signs up with their, who sign up with their promo code, they get a little <coughs> bit of each one of their bets. So they're making a fuck ton of money, right? Mm -hmm. And so... <clears throat> Which is, this is... I don't know. I think it's an important distinction again to remind her that they get a percentage of what people bet. Which yeah. is... You have to remember that adjusts. So if someone puts 5K in, they get a this, the same percent, you know, they get an equivalent percentage of that versus someone putting in 500. Yes. But the more people are inclined to put in, the more they're making. So, right. Yeah. So these, you know, and, and they, they would fly them to Cabo be because it's like a kind of a, it's technically legal, I guess, to play it there yeah. and to stream it there. But like all the fans that are signing up are using VPNs and they're doing it illegally. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Seeky. Yeah. Live events are back, which means you can get $20 off tickets at Seeky with promo code TMG. Seeky is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've got the apps on our phones. We certainly do. Yeah. Right here. Crack it open. I what used it to buy at? Harry Styles tickets a couple weeks ago. Nice. Yeah, man. Elton John's playing. And Motley Crew. Man, they look old as hell. <laughs> That's wild. Anyways, you guys know we use SeatGeek all the time to buy events, all kinds of things, MMA events, racing events, sometimes even bull riding. Because uh, whether it's concerts, baseball, basketball, football, festivals, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make it uh, to make buying simple. SeatGeek rates every ticket from zero to ten to make sure you are getting a good deal. Green dots, of course, mean good. Red dots mean. I mean, that's, that ticket's overpriced. Yeah. Every ticket on SeatGeek is backed by their buyer guarantee so you can shop for tickets with confidence. Also, don't worry about getting a bad deal because we've got the hookup. Use the code TMG for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code TMG. Visit SeatGeek.com or download the SeatGeek app today. Use the code TMG for $20 off your first SeatGeek order. www.seatgeek.com. I am SeatGeek. Yeah. So the whole thing is like really sketchy because <clears throat> it's all based in fucking cacao or whatever. Yeah. Kakuas or something like that. Some island where it's uh like they they kind of give out gambling licenses, gaming licenses, sorry, like yeah. liberally. Yeah. yeah, where is it based? I forget. I just butchered that, but it's a whole whole ass country and I just fucking <laughs> some fucking island. Um Anyways, the whole thing is like really just, you know, legal gray area, sketchy as fuck. Um, and then this is basically linking the guy who founded that also founded Wizza, which is a site that all the people that were on like promoting this gambling site started promoting. And it's a giveaway website. Mm -hmm. So it's like you buy tickets to join a lottery. And the more tickets you buy supposedly increases your chance of winning the grand prize, which is a Ferrari or whatever the fuck. And then, uh, you know, they pull a name out of the hat and they give th that person a Ferrari. It's a sweepstakes. Yeah. It's a classic sweepstakes. But Except if you look into the fine print, it's not. Mm -hmm. it's Where is it? Cora Cow? Yeah, yeah Cora Cow. Um, except, except, so Coffee looked into like the fine print, which is actually, it's not the fine print. It just says it right on the front page mm -hmm. there. So like the website UI is set up where it's like you buy five tickets, you buy 10 tickets, you buy 150 tickets, or you buy 200 tickets each for a different price, right? Yeah. More tickets you buy, the cheaper it is. Yeah. So like the way it's set up, it's inferred that the more tickets you buy, it raises your chance of winning, right? Because it puts your name in the bucket multiple times. Yeah. But if you go down and scroll, it says buying tickets, buying more tickets does not increase your chance of winning. Which is so wild. So it's like, what the fuck is this website then? Yeah. And I think it's either a way to launder the money they're making from Rubet or it's um it's them trying to get around the rules of being a sweepstakes because 
the super strict rules of doing mm-hmm. that. Otherwise, everyone would just fucking start a lottery. Yeah. <clears throat> and so by not by basically making it like a charity instead by them saying, "Oh yeah, buying doesn't do anything. You can enter for free if you want." Yeah. It's it's like a it's not actually a sweepstakes. It's like people donating instead of buying entry to a sweepstakes. Yeah. I think that's probably what it is. I mean, I'm not a fucking lawyer, but like that's kind of what it seems like. Yeah. So anyways, like the whole thing is crazy and sketchy and this might end up being like one of the biggest scams in the last, I mean, I don't know. When's the last influencer scam like this? It's crazy. I mean, CSGO was like the big one and and that dude is, the dude Allen or whatever, I guess was connected to that as well. What what was that? Like skin that was like buying yeah, skins and lottery Yeah, lot, they were like scamming. Basically, they were similar thing. People were, um, I think, paying to win skins and then the lottery was rigged. Um, something to that degree. But uh, it, And FaZe Banks did that too, right? What? Like a CSGO skin. I don't know if he was involved in that. He might have been. Another big one was like that kid T. Martin or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, <clears throat> this whole operation is crazy. You know, I, I don't know how, I, I don't know how any of these dudes fly to another country and don't feel sketched out by the fact that they had to go to another country to, you know. I, I know. neither. I don't know. It's like you're, you're 20, whatever they are. Mm-hmm. And you see these big ass checks, millions of dollars every yeah. month. Right. They're probably just blinded by the fact that this is so much money. Yeah. They're like, ah, fuck it. We'll take a chance. Yeah. And yep. they don't realize like the damage they're actually doing <clears throat> in terms of getting kids hooked yeah. to fucking gambling websites. It's going to ruin their life. This is yeah. like, this could be a, an addiction they can't shake mm-hmm. in the future. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but I, I think, I think it's just a good, I don't know. I think a good lesson is just like, if it looks too good to be true, it, it is. Yeah. You know what it, I'm saying? I it, think this whole thing is going to come crashing down because you should not be able to go from zero to buying McLarens every single month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't yeah. happen. I'm yeah. not saying it shouldn't happen. I'm just saying like it doesn't. Yeah, <clears throat> not without like rinsing. a lot of hard work and like and anyone who you know like I don't know. I feel like anyone who makes money through or that kind of money at least through like legitimate ways like knows what it takes to get there. So they don't yeah spend. they don't throw it away. Yeah, yeah. I think the the rate. <clears throat> that the money is shown up it's it's so obvious that someone's getting rinsed you know like <clears throat> that's the only way and and i guess you could argue that they shouldn't have that money because if all the people using the <clears throat> websites didn't have you know vpns and that sort of thing they just wouldn't be able to access it yeah <clears throat> you know that was like like when full tilt and those guys had those issues, you know, back in the day when they basically got caught <clears throat> having offshore accounts to run the website, they they just, you know, started blocking connection and you had to be in certain states to play, you had to be in Vegas or wherever to play poker online and it, it technically should be that way, right? Like you should only be able to do it where it's legal. But even then, <clears throat> you shouldn't be getting a rake off of it. Yeah. That's pretty, it's pretty bold, man. It's pretty, pretty bold. fucking wild, really. It it is. I think the part that's bad about it is, you know, crypto already has a lot of issues combating the stigma of, you know, hurting the environment and being so susceptible to scamming that this I feel just adds another notch to it and who knows, man. I mean, with the amount of money that's moving, it's big enough that an SEC or like a federal body would be like, well, what the fuck? Like, no. Yeah. And that could shape how crypto laws can shake out. Yeah. You know, obviously there's a lot of money in crypto, so maybe it wouldn't be like some doomsday scenario, but I just don't think that this bodes well for it. You know, it, it kind of jeopardizes what the intention of crypto is supposed to be. I think what's also really interesting is how coffee and, you know, some ordinary keep digging up like the wallets. I know. I was just about to comment <clears throat> on that. That's crazy. Yeah. How the wallets have zero activity. Which wallets? Well, he was just saying. Oh, yeah. That, yes. Yeah. You know, a lot of these guys, they'll reveal their wallet on accident on stream. And then when they go look it up and it's like, oh, money was never deposited. Yeah. So, they never funded their own wallet, which yeah. means that the gambling website is just giving them some of their fake currency to gamble with publicly in front of their fans. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I'm winning big. Oh, I just lost 50K. It's not real. Yeah. 
they're acting like they did. <laughs> yeah. Which is just a whole nother level of fucked up. <laughs> um, and another funny thing is like they track the wallets, you know, to the people like to the, you know, the main wallet funding all of Rubet or whatever. Yeah. And then they're sending FaZe Banks money and then he's buying CryptoPunks with that money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he's yeah, on yeah. Twitter saying like, oh, there's life changing money in CryptoPunks. And it's like, yeah, but like, yeah, you're getting it for free. Yeah. I just like, and I don't, I don't know. I don't remember what the actual link between FaZe Banks. So don't quote me on this, but I mean, he was in the video. Mm-hmm. It just like was got confusing tracking all the f- wallets <clears throat> and, um, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's really interesting. The whole thing just feels like just icky. Yeah. I, I it's think fast money. It it's is fast money, which is like traditionally money that's, that's that fast. You're getting paid, you know, millions of bucks every month. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah. shady, shady stuff going on. It's, you know, and, and, and you don't know if it'll stop or keep going, but it seems that NFTs, went from this thing that was like oh this is the future to a lot of people figured out how to scam off of it and now that's all it really is you know i i have a hard time believing a lot of nfts are worth their salt because it it, it's really off-putting to me when an nft gets announced and somehow 40 celebrities have it already. Yeah. But you'd never heard of this shit already. Yeah. And then when you look at the people making it, it's like, oh, they're like this artist who created stuff for these people or, you know, oh, it's like this like sort of guy who's connected with these people. And yeah. It's like, all right, it always seems like there's just this kind of like vague character in the center of it all. Although Coinbase is <clears throat> um, like opening up a NFT marketplace. You see yeah. that? Uh, no, but I'm, it was bound to happen. Yeah. I mean, that should just, that should be good for the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, cause Coinbase, I feel is one of the platforms that you can kind of trust. Yeah. But still, I mean, the whole, my issue with NFTs is, is, is the same thing. Like even if Coinbase is legitimate, it's like the people starting the NFTs is, I have a big ass question mark on them. Yeah. So yeah, this, this whole thing, it, it makes you wonder if any of these dudes will get caught up for it. Yeah. It's cause it seems like their fan, a lot of their fans don't really seem to care. Yeah. And it's like, what's actually illegal here? Mm-hmm. Something might be. The whole thing just feels shady, but it's like, we don't know what's actually, it's immoral and yeah. unethical for sure, but it's like, might not be illegal. Yeah. Yeah. By definition, it may not be. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. So. Um, <clears throat> super. So I don't know if, they, if they'll ever like feel any repercussions, but. <clears throat> uh, the fight, you watch it? Uh, I only saw. <clears throat> the highlights. I did not watch it. I heard it was really good. It was the best fight I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure. As far as boxing, or just yeah, yeah, yep. it's what I heard. It's it was like amazing. Yep. Um, I'll probably go rewatch it at some. You point. should. It was really good. Yeah, I believe it. Um, Fury is is no joke, bro. Yeah, he's a beast. I mean, I've seen people say for a long time, you know. Deontay Wilder is, is just a right hand and his boxing fundamentals are kind of, eh. I haven't watched, you know, admittedly, I I can't remember the second one and I hadn't watched many of Wilder's fights leading up to the first one other than a lot of, you know, there's a lot of highlight material. Like obviously his right hand is a fucking cannon, but mm-hmm. uh, I guess it wasn't enough. I heard that Fury took two on the chin and came right back up and yep. everyone was like, how the fuck is that possible? Yep. Damn. Damn. And Walder in the round before got knocked down. Oof. Oh, I saw that one. So kind of was like back and forth and we were all just like on the edge of our seats like what the fuck? Yeah. And then And then it just kept going for another like 6 rounds them just swinging. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally and then finally it was like that final knockout blow was so incredible. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, I mean I'll uh we probably Don't play, play yeah, this. don't play yeah. that. Definitely leave that out. Yeah. You know, like, people were kind of giving Wilder shit for, like, not wanting to shake Fury's hand afterward. <laughs> I kind of get it. Do you? you got the shit kicked out of you. I don't want to shake that guy's hand either. <laughs> yeah. I, I think they're, like, he said he's, he was like, I, I've got no respect for you. I've read yeah, that, that part, somewhere that he yeah, said yeah, that. He, yeah, he's like, there's no respect. I'm not showing sportsmanship. That part is kind of whack, but. I understand, like, immediately after a fight of some dudes, like, yo, dude, I'm sorry I knocked you out. It's like, <laughs> g- g- give me five. <laughs> Can we chat tomorrow, dude? Yeah, Let give me, me sleep five off. minutes. Yeah. I saw a mean I just ass. woke up <laughs> in another dimension. 
<laughs> I saw a mean ass tweet. So I was like, wow, wow, they really got knocked out in front of all the bad bitches. <laughs> and then it was just like a thread of like, really, like, just like, you know, like all these women with like crazy Instagram followings being like, I'm at the Fury fight. At the Fury Wilder fight, <laughs> I was like, "Jesus Christ, dude!" <laughs> oh, that's adding funny. insult, man. That's God damn, funny. damn mean. That is really mean. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> but yeah, fighting is. Everybody wants to, you know, all that talk about fighting. You know, just I, I, I always give people a little bit of props, willingness to risk your risk your image for it because if you're especially not a fighter and you get fucking hit oh i know it's so bad for you yeah um speaking of bad bitches pull up that picture of jeff bezos that i sent <laughs> <laughs> we'll see him look at this fuck here the sex icon look at this absolute beast bro i said <laughs> okay at one of my shows i just like as an off comment i actually meant to say it on the podcast i was like give it three years he's gonna start doing steroids He's going to look like the ultimate warrior. Yeah. And he's well on his way. Yeah. I mean, dude is already jacked. He's got the, he got his, um, you know, he got the facial shit done. He's going to get his hair regrown. That would be sick. He's going to look like MGK. I, th- I was just about to say that. He's yeah. got to come out with bleached, long, like Kurt Cobain hair. Yeah. And, and he's going to flip the image and people are going to be like, GQ is going to be like, hottest billionaire <laughs> Of all time, <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's going to change. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's going to laugh. He's going to go to laughing class. Yeah. And how's he going <laughs> to laugh after? It's <laughs> hot. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. It's hot. Jeff's going to get his, his new hair. He's like, no, nah, that was the old me. Yeah. <laughs> the new me is into general mayhem. <laughs> Lots of blood. So, ladies, if you're, uh, you know, if you like organic smoothies and sex that even the devil would clutch his rosary at, hit up Jeffrey. He's going to rename, bro. The billionaire formerly known as Jeffrey. (laughs) Someone's got to Photoshop him with long blonde hair. Yeah. Please. He's cut, dude. Look at his bicep. Yeah, dude's yoked. Bulging out of his skin. Look at his forearms, bro. It's like as big as our calves. How is he getting so muscular? (laughs) He's buying it probably. What's your routine, dude? Well, first I find, you know, an unsuspecting man in a third world country and I kill him. Yeah. And then I uh, harvest his muscle and his blood and then. (laughs) (laughs) That's the laugh he makes after he eats his family. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) We got to make the rest of them go away. This is him riding away from the murder he just committed in the yeah. desert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that dude taking? Is there like legal shit that you can take that makes you look like that after 50? Like, is that what he's on? Some hormone routine? Probably. That doctors prescribe him? He is, dude, He's he's got that money where he can afford like, you know, like that level of science. Yeah. Well, we got some shit in like, you know, uh, Scandinavia that they're trying. Yeah. You want to hit that up? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking $100,000 per needle. <laughs> Taking that shit in. He was like, yeah, it feels great. <laughs> my knees. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's going to be his next post on social media is him doing like a seven foot box jump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Or it's just going to be like, you know, standard like fitness influencer posts. Like yeah. just his glute workout that he did today. Hi, right guys. There. This is a really easy glute workout. 15 <laughs> minutes. So you can do it between, you know, work. You wake up and you just want to kind of get a sweat in. This is great. Three exercises. It's going to be 15 reps per exercise. <laughs> 700 pounds on the bar. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. He just gets under that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fast. Just hitting it. And we're going to superset with back today, and he gets up and does <laughs> like 500 chin ups, no, <laughs> no stopping. <laughs> or he's doing those fucking crazy ones where you like pull up and then go like this. Oh, uh, yeah. And like push up to a hand. Yeah. 
He's just a flat out gymnast in between. Like, yo, <laughs> three sixty chin ups. <laughs> ah, that bro. There's this um, there's this machine that Formula One drivers use that's designed to train fast twitch muscles, and they do like, it's basically like they hook a steering wheel to it, and it creates like, I don't know, like eight hundred pounds of pressure, some like absurd number. Uh, that's not written anywhere. I'm just throwing that out there. And like they just like for like 15 seconds, they'll just like try to turn it as hard as possible. I picture him just getting on one of those and just yanking it left and right. <laughs> yeah, breaking it off. Yeah, just no problem. Oh, yeah, my friends at Ferrari gave me this one. <laughs> Is it a game that you're playing too? No. Oh, it's, it's just, just like, an exercise yeah. thing. <laughs> I'm picturing a fucking car on a screen just going like, into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, he just gets an F1 car and he's just yanking it <laughs> left and right. No problem. No problem. Um, damn, Jeffrey Jeffy is yoked. Yeah, yoked, dude. Uh, For him, man. Yeah, he's the most jacked billionaire. <laughs> he's definitely gonna be the hottest billionaire, man. Yeah, hottest billionaire by far. Is he? That's why you know Elon's a nerd because he spent all his time like trying to buy his way into pop culture. You know. Yeah. He should have just did cool shit. Yeah, this is how you do it right here. Yeah. Get ripped. Ride a Ride horse. A horse. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Equestrian, equestrian girl's going crazy for this right oh, now. Oh, yeah. They see the money and the horse shit. They're like, I can't yeah. resist. Yeah. I love Amazon. <laughs> Daddy Amazon, stop. <laughs> Let me tell you something about proper horse care. Oh. <laughs> Take my money here. I just ordered five things on Amazon this morning. Oh my god! I can't buy enough. Damn, that'd be crazy if Jeffy got hit, got on a level of McConaughey. Yeah, that's who this reminds me of. Honestly, I look at this picture and I'm like, is that Matt? Oh, do you, bald Matt McConaughey. Do you think Jeff is looking back, studying Matt, and he's like, I've conquered all kinds of markets. Yeah, <laughs> I've yet to conquer Tinder. <laughs> I've yet to conquer the female market. <laughs> he just fucking. Matthew McConaughey wakes up one day and Jeffrey is in his house and Matt is strapped down to his bed and he's like, whoa, what are y'all doing? <laughs> Jeffrey's like, Matthew, you have something of mine that I need. And then they're, Mojo. Like, they're just cutting into his vocal cords. <laughs> no, wait. Relax. Oh, what y'all doing? What Relax. Y'all doing? Relax. And they just swap it out. And then now Matthew McConaughey sounds like a dork. He wakes up and he's like, <laughs> no. no what the hell is going on <laughs> oh no how can i do my green lights book tour like this <laughs> that's mark zuckerberg yeah true yeah no mark zuckerberg it, time bird. to smoke these meats <laughs> mark zuckerberg is fucking yeah. yeah he has to put like the what's the shit when you have a stoma the voice box? Yeah. That's what Mark is secretly using anytime he goes to the Senate. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Facebook does not natively offer Finsta. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to get rid of it then? What? Finsta. You're going to ban Finsta, right? Uh, sir. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, don't remind me of Dracula. I'm going to get pissed. <laughs> Uh, Anyways, guys. All right, today in the bonus episode, we got Kim Kardashian, SNL. That's it. We're going to talk about that for an hour. <laughs> no. Twitch leaks. October uh, 15th. Oh, on. Succession's coming out. Fucking go. Oh, I'm watching I'm watching them all right now. I'm oh, almost yeah. done the first season. I need to rewatch. Crush in the past three days. Yeah. And I'm going to watch the second season just in time to start the first episode of the third season. I'm fucking pumped. Dude, let, no, let's give him a real hype bonus episode. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah well. General Mayhem. <laughs> Lots of blood. Stabbing infants. Baby shit. <laughs> Reptiles having sex. Mango paradise smoothies. Ghost hunting. <laughs> Ghost penis. What? Still can't find the uh, batteries for the remote. <laughs> Horse dung. <laughs> dung. All right. See you guys in the bonus. Bye. In the dung zone. Bye. <laughs>
Bye.